A certain girl said I defrauded her to the tune of 400k. But I'm here to say that she lied against me. She lied against my person. Firstly, can she prove with any evidence that I defrauded her of 400k? If she can be able to prove it to the public, I am willing to go to jail without trial. Secondly, this said kill, I harbored, accepted, I fed her, I took her in as a daughter. We used to play like mother and daughter. Wow, mommy, I can't love you less. I really appreciate you. Thank you for caring, accommodating, you know. I love you so much. Mommy, no man, the old man who starred, the old white world. I love you, I love you, I love you. I made her achieve in two months what people dream of achieving in three years. I introduced her to the Actors Guild of Nigeria. I did not collect a dime from her. I did not collect a dime, I repeat, from her to project her in any way. Rather, I belong to an organization. This organization are going for a trip in UK, which this said girl pleaded with me to add her name. She pleaded to me to add her name and the people that will be among to travel for that trip. I told her, that I am paying likewise others are paying. Can she be able to afford it? That the amount is 400k for every arrangement. She said she would go. At first, she paid 100,000 naira to the organizer's account. On the 7th of October, she paid 100,000 naira to the organizer's account on 7th October. Secondly, she paid another 100,000 naira on 11th of October to the organizer's account. No money passed through me to the organizer. She paid the organizers directly with her own POS, with her own ATM to the PO, through POS, she paid the organizer. The evidence are there. All of a sudden, she woke up one day and told me that she did not understand the process of this travel again, that she would want her report. I made several calls to so many people that matters, that knows about travel. Because the organizers told us, pump and plane, that they have made the uh, visa fee of 175 pounds, which is about 8 something thousand naira. That if she's asking for her refund, her money will no longer be complete as she paid it to them. She turned out wide of me there is nothing this girl did not say there is nothing this girl did not do against me she even involved the police people in the presence of the police officers the evidences on the table and even the statement she made shows that no one naira was paid into my personal account oh This girl
It's well. It's okay. When the IPO found out the truth that one letter did not get to me, she request, he requested for the woman that is doing the visa, he requested for the uh, number, which I gave them. They called the woman and spoke at length with the woman because even the IPO said he works with embassy before he became a police officer. Yes. So at least he understood the language of the embassy. They spoke at length and this IPO now pleaded with the woman that this said girl has sold everything she had. To embark on this journey. What can we do? The woman now said. What do you want me to do? The police officer now said. Even if it is 50% of the money. Please kindly pay back. So that this girl will have a living. There and then. The woman asked for an account. Which the police officer gave her his own account. And the money was paid. 100,000 naira refund was paid and I have evidence to it. How can somebody that made a video that I duped and scammed her of 400,000 naira received back 100,000 in return and she agreed? This state scam cost me Suspension from the Actors Guild of Nigeria as a chairman of the guild. I accept it in good faith. Because I know I can't be a judge on my own case. I am waiting for the disciplinary committee to call for the evidence of the fraud from this said girl. That is the viral video that kept me in this situation and condition. Let them call for the evidence of the fraud to this said girl. If she can be able to prove it, I will be ready to take whatever punishment that will be accorded to me. I give this said girl one week to provide a public evidence of the fraud of 400k in my name. I know there are people beating this music and dance. She is dancing. There are people playing the music that she is dancing. But I promise those people that what is in me is greater than what is in your plan. I have been an actor's guild of Nigeria vice chairman in Imo State. I did not defraud anybody. I have been an actor's guild acting chairman in Imo State and have not defrauded anybody. I have been an actor's guild first tenure chairman in Imo State and have never defrauded anybody. It is in this my second tenure, my glorious exit, that I would think of defrauding a girl that came to me. And she made that video with full chest, icing it with a lot of things. And people, oh my God, please, I want to plead with the viewers. To disregard that video made by that said girl. It is not me. My hands are clean. My hands are clean. I cannot involve myself in fraud. I repeat again. I cannot involve myself in fraud. God bless you all.